After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. And my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Get me out, just get me out. We deal with all kinds of inmates in the county jail here in, in uh, Clark County. Very nice people sometimes get arrested and make mistakes, but generally speaking, we're dealing with people who are in here for a very good purpose and that they've done something very wrong and they know it and uh, we know it. So it's a different atmosphere to know that you're walking into a room with about between 50 and 100 known criminals that uh, possibly could want to hurt you. We got one highly intoxicated male. I need your hand on that one. Can you help me out? No problem, man. Come on. All right. Let's go do this. All right. What do I do, man? Open up your hand. Relax your hand right now. Relax your hand. What? You're balling your hand up into a fist. I don't need what? that. I ain't smoking no dogs. No, then just an aggressive stance. So we don't need that inside the gym. We'll try the ring finger on the left hand. I'm a pretty boy, man. Remember? No, I don't. You remember me, blue eyes? I don't remember you. Yeah, you remember me from last Did you get it? Right, you remember me from, from last time? I really don't. You're not that memorable. Yeah, you are. No, you're really not that memorable. What do I do, man? Don't even Wait. think about it. Hey, Sarge, we're going to take Beto out of here. Don't try it. Will you stop balling up your fist right now? I work at Ready Ice, man. Stop I want to show you my muscles, man. OK, well, don't. OK, 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 I, I, I won't do that no more. I, no. I promise. No, I promise. Done. Face the wall. I will. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I understand. You're I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right now, I want you to I'm be sorry. quiet. Shut your mouth. I'm be so quiet. Yes, sir. Come on in. Yes, sir. Sit in that corner right yes, there. Yes, sir. Stay nice and quiet. Please don't bother anybody. As I started to take him out of the pre-arrest area where he balled up his fist, started to flex his muscles, showing me how strong he was. That's why we put him into a wrist lock to bring him down here into this cell. We're going to... All right, we're going to go down and take care of a quick situation in Z8. Threatening, man. Told you it was my house, man. Everybody back. Everybody back. Everybody back. Stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. Get up. Stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. Turn around and face the wall. Get off your hands, Sam. Put your hands behind your back. Put the tension in the body. There's no tension. You're going to walk or we need to put you in a chair? Take all the toilet paper out of here. Stand up. Take it out. backwards. Everything goes. Ow, my hand! Why are you throwing all the toilet paper? I wasn't throwing anything. I'm freezing my ass off. That's it. Lay down on the bunk. What's your name? Oh, John. Lay down on the bunk. Yes, sir. made down there and ate. They were causing a disturbance. They were taking toilet paper, wadding it up, throwing it on the ceiling. You come in here, they were complaining about it being cold. You can see they were throwing the toilet paper up here at the vent to try to stop the air circulation. So that was the original complaint uh, from the officer, the reason why we came in here to, to talk to him. And that's when the confrontation took place. Hey, John, we just want to talk to you for a few minutes, OK? Get your side of the story and what was going on and, and what happened and the cell so, and everything else. It was cold and nice up in that room. We, you know, we kept on them over and over. And, uh, you know, then finally the, the one officer gave us a bag so we could uh, block the band. And uh, they wouldn't stay because the welds and whatnot. Oh, okay. And then that was, that was pretty much so it. So how are you doing now? You doing okay now? Seem pretty mellow. I'm all, yeah, that's how I am all the time. And it's not like anybody, you know, gave him any reason to, to even act that way to begin with. All right, we got to go. We got to fight. We got a 416, which is a fight, which often happens around chow time, into a, into a module.
Faces should be in the bunk. Oh, 1064, do we have the nurse responding? Basically what happened was this guy and the guy in there got into an argument at the table. He went to swing on this guy and hit the old fella inadvertently across the face, going to swing at this guy. So he was an innocent party and just took the brunt of it. He's going to be going off to a disciplinary housing. It's important to keep control in these type of situations whenever there's a fight or whenever there's any kind of issue inside of a module like this. This is dangerous, man. You got kids in here, man. They don't care. They don't care. You know, I got a good job, a wife, and a home. You know, two nice cars. You know, it just I got caught up in some promotional things, and and you know, this is what happens. You know, I'm embarrassed, but this here is crazy. I'm, I'm terrified of this stuff. You know. And then I get hit for nothing. I mean, I could have been hurt. I mean, really bad. You did bad. get hurt, but yeah, I did get hurt. But I'm lucky, you know. I mean, I never been I never been in a fight in my life, so <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're okay. Yeah. The nurse has a little bit of medication for you, pain for your nose. Pain down. Let us know if you turn it Unfortunately. We weren't able to stop it, but at least we were able to stop it before it went too far and before anything else happened. Tarrant County Jail is 13 stories high. Even though we are on the 12th floor, they really don't mean anything because they'll run a line down to run a weapon up or anything like that. And that's why we check the wires, check the doors, check everything that's going around. Uh, one of the things that, that pretty much keep me going, I ask myself, if I was locked up in here and wanted to get out, what would I do? How would I do it? Because a lot of times, I'll check something that I probably would do, and they've already done it. Well, you got an inmate that wants to walk around in tight uniforms enticing the male inmates. And due to his sexual nature, uh, I can understand that, you know, he wants to play the whole role, but we can't let him go around and do that. He's going to have to trade, change uniforms. All right, so let's see what we can do. Pretty much upset a lot of inmates up there due to the fact that he want to continue to wear his skin-tight uniform, and a couple of them don't like the idea that he keeps getting them racked down for his conduct, so somebody's probably going to try to hurt him. Uh, he's going to change, OK? Uh, due to the fact that his uniform that he got on is too tight, it's nothing against him, but we just cannot have him parading around here with, with skin tight pants on. Okay, so we'll be back. We'll be back. All right. All right, we may have to transfer him out and put him in a single cell somewhere by itself. Well, that's that's what it's always been, all right? All right, go ahead and have a seat. All right. Say what you want to say it's not working. So y'all, 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 huh. whatever it is you want to do. Huh. I've been, I've been here Listen this, I've been here this whole time. I've been the same way. All right. Now I need you to work with me. I'm gonna handle that out there. That's my job. Is to deal with my staff. Okay. Okay. But this I, is what I need you to do. Okay. Could you, okay. Could you hear me out for a second? I mean, I just want to stop you before you keep going. I'm not complaining. They don't have to give me another uniform. I'm gonna keep my. I feel like they're trying to turn me into something. I'm. You know I'm, what? I'm a punk or whatever. Have as she say, I'm a punk, and that's what I'm. Your, your stop. sexual orientation I'm, has nothing I'm, to do I'm, with what, what okay. we're dealing with right okay, here. Then, okay. Mm -hmm. it, evidently, you trying to make me put on something. Baby, let me tell you something. When them uniforms were designed, they were designed because people were sagging. They got tired of people sagging and all the rest of that kind of stuff. So they came up with the solution of jumpers. They figured if they gave you jumpers, there was no sagging. Now, they never not a one time said anything about a uniform not fitting you properly. Mine fit me properly. But I still want to Will you change the uniform? I still want yeah. All so right. but I'm, you're not gonna put me on no big old baggy okay. uniform. Okay. Okay. My my point my point is, tell me what's wrong with this. 
Am I it's too tight. Am I the one that uniforms? It's too tight. Oh, y'all don't want to fit. Do y'all? Come on, man. You got the dudes running around. Right. Look, let's, let's, let's keep it let's real, man. You got these dudes running around right here, man. You can't hold me responsible for what a grown man. And I'm not. Man, man do. All right. A grown man should already know okay. what you're Okay, what size is that? Like okay, man. Work with me. What is this? That's a big. This is... That's one side law and what you got. But see, this one ain't got all the lashes, so that's just like putting on the three eggs and Hold the four eggs. Look how big this is. Hold on. Now I'm going to make an example of, of, get this. Give me that uniform you got on. Well, now I want him to see extra big this is right here. Now this is no one extra size. Big. Oh, but it's still, it's like telling me, even even with this uniform on, look at this. I will talk and I will tell every damn thing <laughs> in their face. <laughs> Oh, come look, on, man, look, this man, way, look this, here. This, this is a size bigger. Man, you're not going to the prom, how, man. How look, this thing is working, man. Give me give me that other uniform for me right quick. But come on. But the, the, oh, work with me, man. Please, the look, I'm asking you, man. I'm asking you. Okay, but look. I don't never work this long with nobody trying to get no uniform. I'm serious. But, I am very, very, very patient is, with you. You know, e you know, even if you call your crew over here, I'm, I'm not going to go through I'm all that. I'm still going to take it to where I want to take okay. it. Okay, give me this uniform back and give me that one switch out. And I still have my own. You have a clean one. This is too big. I'm going to have a clean one. One. Baby, I still want y'all to go ahead and punish me for Ain't not for, punish for, for, you. for not change. I mean, for, for not changing uniform. Okay, moving you for your safety. And a few dudes down there hollering and going on and acting crazy. Kind of concerned about that. All right. It wasn't about. It wasn't nobody was that just love just get attention to somebody who want to say something. Well, well down, I mean, I don't. I don't care about getting moved. That's that's not. That's not. That's that for your safety. Okay. Oh, oh okay. I understand. Do something else, man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> what? Do something else, boy. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, around this way. Nah, you can change in there. Step in there. The uniform's too big. Step in there. Put his shoes on. It's a whole one in there. Take him down in the holding cell over there and put him in there. We have medical do a visual on him. Y'all keep me in my back. I y'all ass. I y'all ass. All of y'all. Uh, just basically being moved from the pod for a safety. He's... Even the way it's supposed to be in the council been brought in before I even been touched. Medical. Yeah, medical personnel come in. The whole thing started over. You want to wear skin tight yeah. uniforms enticing the other inmates. And that has caused a problem. This, this is not his first rodeo. And it's not the last time. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to do it again. But the main thing is, like I said, is safety. Hopefully we can put him someplace where you're not worried about enticing other folks. the Multnomah County Jail. We're located right in the heart of the city. People say here in Portland you have uh, seasonal depression because we get a lot of rain. So uh, you see a lot of intoxicated people. And once you've dealt with it long enough, in order to keep yourself sane to a certain degree, you kind of laugh about it. We received a call a little while ago from a Portland officer saying that they had someone they were bringing into custody that was causing lots of problems. What's his name? He's got a few warrants. He uh, told us that if he had a gun, he'd shoot us. He's pretty drunk. Okay. On the right side. He's been kicking and spitting in the back of the car. Don't drag me out, please. John, are you going to cooperate? Please don't drag me out. John, we don't want to drag you out of the car if you'll cooperate. My legs don't work that good. I can't move. Can I get out of this side? That side? That's fine, John. Step out. Okay. I already busted my head open. Okay, well, we got a nurse that'll take a look at you. Okay, we just want you to listen to our simple directions, John, okay? Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Come over here so we can search you. Face the counter. Do you normally carry needles? No, I don't do that. Okay, well, we gotta ask you. Uh, hey, John, are you suicidal? Are you diabetic? All right, you wanna take your handcuffs up? All right, so let's read your feet for me, please. Yes. Sir, yes. John, let's read your feet. There I you can't go. Can't spam that far now. Please, please, please don't. Yeah, I'm not. We're not. We're just, we're just watching you spread your feet. That's all. No, no, please, please, please. John, my, my, my John. legs. No, no, please. John, just spread your legs. No, please. Spread your feet. Don't spam that far, dude. I have to. I have to search you, okay, John? I have to spread them that far so I can please, search you. Please, please, please. Don't spam that far. Hi, right, John. Please search. Can you handle the counter? Put up. 
Put your foot up, bend the knee, where you go. I'm going to pass out, dude. I am. I'm trying to give you an option so you can get through the process. All right, sit down there. Sit down. Sit down. John, sit down. There you go. All right. That was easy. All right. So basically, we put him in a, an isolation cell. He came in. He's very intoxicated. They picked him up for drinking in public. Uh, he had some warrants for his arrest. I think they also charged him with something else. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, just in order to, to keep it safe down here for us, we put him in isolation cell. John, why are you banging? Uh, they probably, well, so, so, okay, uh, no, we don't need to talk to him for a while, so, obviously we made a good choice, he's gonna chill out in the side room, you step right over here, yeah, right, face the counter, move your feet apart, face the counter, have you been drinking tonight, energy drink, you been on any drugs? Put your hand on the counter. Am I going to have to stay here or what? Well, it just depends on you don't have stable housing. i got to go to work tonight. Okay. Take all your jackets off. Place them up on the counter. Oh, your face is awfully red. You sure you ain't taking any drugs? No. None at all? I'm working double shifts. Oh, is that your paycheck? Yeah, he broke my string on my coat. Man. Well, he couldn't get the knot undone. Because the, the string in your coat. You guys are destroying my property now. Listen. No, that's messed up. Bro. I'm going to explain it to you, no, okay? No, that's messed up. No. No, that's not messed up. It's yeah, policy. It yeah, you guys destroyed my property. Man. Uh, nobody destroyed anything. Yeah, you did. It's broken. The sheriff says we got to take all loose strings out of clothing. Precautionary measure. We don't want you to hurt yourself or anybody else. Keep... No, you guys Grab your stuff. Have a seat. It, you guys Taking the court. That's fine. Timothy here is a little upset. He thinks we've uh, ruined some of his property by taking his shoelaces out and some of the loose strings in the jacket. That's our policy. If the string isn't tied in, say like the all around the waist or at the bottom of the jacket, it's taken out for safety. Where'd you find them? They ran across the street in front of me when my light was green. So you're a contractor food, for food, the food service? Food yes, and you cook there. These two are brothers. They're both warrants? Yes. Both warrants? They work at one of our jails. Both of you work at the at Wapato in the food service area? Do they have county ID with them? Let's take a look in their wallets and see. What are you doing with this? Coke? What are you doing with this? Coke? I was searching his back area and it just kind of popped right out of his waistband. It's not nothing? Is it fake crack? How much did you pay for that? How much is How do you know it's not real? So I tasted it. I'll go back and test it. I want to be able to report to the commander who's in charge of the food service so that we can pull their access gotcha. completely. I mean, the warrants are one thing, but possession yeah. would be another. Thanks. Don't get any easier than that, I guess. No. Apparently, the two gentlemen are uh, contractors that provide uh, the food service for the jail. Deputy Hochtefer was searching him. Inside his waistband was a little baggy. It appears to be pottery substance, probably cocaine. The inmate says that it was, uh, he actually tasted it and tested it. it was, said it was fake, but they're going to do a test on it anyways to be sure. If it is cocaine, they're going to uh, notify commands. So they'll probably be terminated if that's the case. So you might want to start making some notes to yourself because I just got word that on a possession, okay. the dope that you found in his pocket uh, came up hot for opiates, so it's probably coke. Excellent. It's probably going to go to grand jury. They're charging them with a PCS2 because they're going to restrict their access to the kitchens there at Wapato. Nice. Two brothers get stopped for jaywalking and end up getting charged with possession. What kind of luck is that? Good job. 
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight i've been thinking about my home i've been thinking about my needs i don't want to